What's up guys? It's Combs here. So I'm gonna be making a little bit of a tutorial for everyone. Um Yeah, everyone's been asking for my reshade settings, you know, how I make my videos look good or look how I make my game look better and how I get my mods for Dabber Daylight. So I'm gonna be starting off with reshade. Let's get into it. So downloading reshade is it's pretty self explanatory. Um I'm just gonna start off with opening up Google. Right. Hit up reshade.me. Let this open up. Click download. I'm gonna fucking fast forward this so I'm not wasting you guys' time, BRB. Okay. Uh, once it's installed, you're gonna go to reshade setup. Select here to click a game. And then. We're gonna find Dead by Daylight Win 64 shipping. You can browse if you need to, but otherwise you shouldn't have to. It should be right here. Uh, use selected app. Then you're gonna go direct 3D 10, 11, 12. This is what I use. I really don't know what any of the this other stuff means because I'm not smart like that. So I just click that, and you're gonna click uncheck all, and then check all. So all of this should be checked. In order for you to have my full reshade, you need everything checked. And I click OK. I'm just gonna let this download. Okay, once it's done, you're gonna go into the description and you're gonna click on the folder I provided and you're gonna download it. This has everything you will need for the full modding and reshade tutorial. But for now, we're only gonna focus on the second edition ballistic file. This is the reshade. So if you're not here for reshade, you can skip this. But as far as for the reshade, it's very simple. You click download, keep, and you're gonna wanna find your Dead by Daylight file. So what I like to do is go to library, Dead by Daylight, right click on it, properties, local files, and browse. It's the easiest way to find it. And then Dead by Daylight, Binaries, Win64, and you see this folder? This is exactly where you're going to put this in. So, drag and drop. Bam. So now you have it. So if we delete this, because I already obviously had it downloaded, you should just have this. So now you have the reshade downloaded. Okay. Once it's downloaded, you're going to see this probably. And you're just going to press space to continue or press whatever, I don't think it really matters. Do, 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 let everything load up. And you're gonna wanna press home on your keyboard. And you're gonna find this. Um, I can just take it through the tutorial. So read all of this, obviously, you're gonna wanna know what you're doing. And all of this, I know it can be really confusing, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you just wanna go up here and you wanna find second edition ballistic and just click it, select, bam, everything should be done for you. Now you will have my full reshade. And the game should look pretty close to mine. Um, now, a disclaimer. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how I get my video or game to look so clean. A lot of this is done, not a lot, but around half of it is done in Vegas, which is my editing software. And I add blur and I add some glow to every single clip or video you see on the internet um, just to make the game look a little smoother so you're not gonna it's not gonna be identical because it doesn't even look like that for me in game it just looks for like that when you guys see it so the next thing I do to make my game look good is an FPS uncap the FPS uncap obviously is just gonna make your game run smoother and the easiest way for me to find this is I click Windows plus R on my keyboard. It's up on screen and I'm going to type in percent 
local app data percent enter and here we're gonna find wait scroll past it don't mind me dead by daylight we're gonna find saved and config window snow editor and we're gonna find this this is the only folder you need to worry about in here so I'm gonna uncheck this this shouldn't be checked for you guys but I've already done this so it is so we're gonna click engine this shouldn't be here for you guys either so I'm just gonna delete that so here it should just look like this minus this and then you're just gonna click from here enter enter and you're gonna paste right in there this is all you need to do this will set your frames for a max of 240 this is up to you um, so this means the lowest amount of frames I can get is 5 and the highest amount is 240 and vsync is false this has to be false or you will not be able to exceed 60 frames with 240 frames it matters it matters how much frame rate you should get I like to put it around like 40 frames above on what I usually get just in case it's a good map or a bad map on a good map I get really good FPS and it looks really nice on a bad map I get bad FPS so it's all up to you so after that you just want to click save exit and then you want to right click on the engine file and you want to click read only you need to check this or else dead by daylight will change it back for you apply and OK that is how I make my videos look the best possible I can make them. So when it comes to modding Dead by Daylight, there is already a well put tutorial on this, and that is by another guy in the in the Dead by Daylight community. I can't speak; it's so bad. But this video will be in the description for you guys. Please go support him as he has helped a lot of people mod and has even helped me mod because I'm not smart. So I need help a lot of time. Anyways, um, this will be in the description. Please find this video, show him some love, go through the tutorial, and I'm going to catch you guys at learning how to uh, install old animations. So after you have unpacked your game, done everything that Tony said to do, this is what you're going to be left with. You're going to be left with a game with mods, but with no mods in it. So now you have to go to Game Banana and you have to obviously find some mods. There are a ton, a ton of mods in here. Um, the mod that I use currently the most right now is the old survivor animations by my boy Tur Tortel. This is really easy. It's the same thing. You click download. You want to let it download. And then while that's downloading, you're going to go to Steam, Library, Daylight, Properties, Local Files, browse and you're going to find dead by daylight content or not content you want to stay here and then you click this any folder that this is the same as so see how content you have to go in the content characters characters you're just going to drag and drop it should ask you if you want to replace you want to click yes replace and then bam the mods installed all you have to do is restart your game and it should be perfect like i said if you have any questions please ask the discord they are always down to help they have they are mods for a reason now when it comes to the skins you may see in my videos such as this legacy fang outfit or you know the green legacy 
a lot of these are custom mods. The pink, I mean the purple legacy, I cannot give to you guys, this is not my mod. But currently I am commissioning, commissioning the green legacy with the crumb smock. I can't show you guys the smock, but it has like a piece of moldy bread on the front. It's it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. But the green legacy and of course my ace fit, which is on my Twitter. Shameless plug, go follow my Twitter. Yeah, 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 you know the vibes. So that would be this. This is also being commissioned. They're both commissioned for the same price. I just haven't announced it. I'm probably going to announce it on my Twitter right after I record this video because I am dumb and I forget things. But they are both being commissioned for $12. If you guys want them, all you got to do is DM me. It's just, there's, there's my, there's my tag. Just DM me, ask for my PayPal. It's a very simple transaction. If you know how to install mods, which you should after watching the video, very simple, very simple. With all that being said, you should know how the mod that by LA now. Um, if you don't, please go ask the discord. They are there to help. Uh, as I said, and go check out Tony's video. Like I said, he explains it much better than I ever could because I'm so bad at talking. Uh, you would know that if you were at my streams, um, as well as just, uh, subscribe, like, Go follow me on Twitter. Everything's up on screen. Um, please join my Discord in the description. Uh, we're going live tomorrow, actually, 5.30 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if I catch you there, I'd love to have you. And, yeah, um, appreciate it, guys. I really hope I didn't miss anything in this video. And if I did, just be sure to let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll get back to you when I can. Peace out.